Dundee trying to keep it in the zone. Linesman waves it off, continue to play. And for Sam Ruyop, putting pressure on by Mac Howlett. The British line out here for the Dundee Stars and Howlett, Garrigan and Rutgers. And for Ruyop, that should have been offside. Play continues, the chance here for Belfast. What a finish for Ben Lake. I thought that should have been offside, but no whistle. And Ben Lake rifles one into the top corner. It's 1-0 to the Giants. No, Ben Lake gets it in the slot with the D-man just backing up, backing up. We're going to see if this plays offside. You can see it there, I think Mark yeah. Cooper at the far side, it just got over the line. There's the D-man backing up, goalie doesn't see it. Oh, what a finish for Ben Lake. Play continues, a big hit in the corner. Puck breaks free, chance out front, big glove save by Price. Really, really good save, I thought that was goal, I was, I was nearly saying goal. Pass from below the goal line into the middle. The reason he didn't score is because I hyped up how good his shot was before that. Big hit there on the blue line, Colin. Takes one up high though, he's going to head for repairs. Everybody loves a physical chance here, Schubert, Schubert with a shot! He scores, it's 2-0 Belfast. Just going the favour again, great play inside. And Schubert had all the time in the space to skate in and slot that past Price. Belfast 2, Dundee 0. Bomb picks it up and skates behind the net of Jones. Bomb now, great pass to the outside. In for Long. Long, to the blue line for Bomb. Bomb back down low for Norris. Back to Jeff Bomb. Cross the line to Foley. Foley sends it goalward. Cooper with another helper. Ben Lake with one and one to start the game so far. Puck breaks free for Long. To the top of the slot. Big shot. Big goal. Jeff Baum. 3 0 Belfast. Yeah, Dundee need to take a time out, I think. Just literally. I mean, I'm not going to tell Jeff Easton how to do his job here, but I would take it. Regroup. Because they're just getting ripped apart right now. I mean, Rife and Pace made a great save there. It would have been, you know, three goals the last three shots. Yeah, again, Price, left hand dry. And you, you just touched on that. It, to be honest, it looks like a, you know, a cat in the headlights there to start off with. Yeah, Garrigan now. Garrigan. Oh, a little bit of afters. Conway and Verrier battle for it. There's going to be a scrap here. Conway drops the gloves. Verrier lost the helmet. Conway with a swinger. Both guys go down. I'm not sure how that started there, but it certainly finished. Both guys going to end up with five each for fighting. Yeah. I think that's a case of Dundee, someone saying, right, somebody do something. Let's get a let's get a reaction here, let's get a jump. Both players got five for fighting, Conway and Verrier. Ari finishes his hit, kept him at the blue line. Garcai. Garcai it again. Yep, out front, chance, goal, 4-0. Garcai to Ari, on to the tip of Tyler Soy, and it's 4-0 Belfast. I mean, I was able to call it, you know, like, I don't know what system that is or what's going wrong for the Dundee Stars, but it's, it's about the third or fourth time there that you can see the weak side of the winger there, it's just stepped down. Max Stewart finishes his check. Songe goes cross ice, there's a chance here on the left side for the D. Big shot, what a finish! What a finish. Great Absolutely. finish by Semyonovs. It's 4-1, but a cross ice pass from Songe. Controlled, took it into the zone. And rifled it over the glove of Peyton Jones, it's 4-1. Yeah, and it's what Dundee needed, they needed to respond, so they did. Approaching the four minute mark of the first period. Stepping out from behind his own net. Well, Colin through the middle, Conway's in all alone. Tries to call, oh, what a finish from Scott Conway. Conway, great speed through the middle. And it opened up for him, he took the ice. And an absolutely great finish. Total route one pass, which is behind the net, behind the net, behind the net. He's skating. He's gonna go. All time in the world. Collins is all time in the world. Slips his man. I don't know if the guy's coming off the bench. Bye, oh. blocker high. Went for the water ball. Scott Conway makes it 5 1. There's a chance here. Saunch is in behind the up. Philippe Saunch. Force. Oh, what a great finish by Saunch. Went forehand, backhand and brought it back to his forehand, and it's back to 
It is. Good response from the Dundee Stars, showing a little bit of heart there. A little breakdown from Belfast. Sonj gets in. And it's a sneaky puck. And it's, you know, I was expecting him to you know, open himself, maybe go to the backhand, try to slide at 5 hole. But he ends up going in below the glove here of Jones. So. Yeah, he went forehand, so got it on this backhand. Oh that's yeah, a good finish. That's now. a very good finish. Right, it's that real tricky area, right, right over the pad, but you know, out of the reach of the glove and a wee butterfly. So, good forecheck by Ari, keeps it in. Gary to the blue line. Oh, coughs that one up. Conway and Ari on the attack, great stick there on the blue line. Reinhardt feeds it between his legs. Starts up ice for Gary to the outside. Nice play along for Barry, who steps in, takes a shot. Pot save and a great follow up there. Scored by Reinhardt, it's now 5-3. And that is a different game. complexion in the game. It is, I mean, uh, the Belfast Giants had this game you know, pretty much sealed after, after well, it was nearly 10 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So the Dundee Stars are showing a little bit of fight back, a little bit of bounce back here. Dundee certainly got more life after that third goal. They do, and they've had a crossbar too, so. Conway. Conway, second chance. Not sure if Priest got anything on that one or he missed the net, but Scott Conway with a big opportunity there. Here comes Gia Bass with a shot, sneak through. Good response for the Belfast Giants, Bass. Cuts in at the blue line, goes all the way through. And takes his opportunity, Dicko. Yeah, he does. Yeah, just what we were saying that the Bell or the Dundee Stars were in ascendancy here. Picked up. It's kind of unchallenged here. That's the only thing, you know. Nobody steps. Nobody steps. Defenseman. This guy's not skating, you know. So. Yeah, not maybe a, just caught at the end of a shift or. Not a strong play by. You know. By Nasland. For Angeli, Derek Angeli steps in between two Dundee players in the zone. Finds Gubin. Gubin comes off the wall, goes to the hole. Slots at home. All about the work from Angeli. David Gubin makes it 7 3. Angeli creates the space, slips it through to David Goodwin. Bright for Priest thinks he's going to go to the far side, which is his blocker side, but he doesn't. He, uh, he lets him open himself up, slides it back through. You'll see it here. Create the space. This D man doesn't know he's going to step. Steps, slips through. Goodwin watches. He'll go. Looks like he's going to go back and doesn't slide it against the green. 5 4. Indeed, Gilbert ricochets off. It's bouncing pocket. Ben Lake's the first react. Lake with a backhand move. Steps inside. What a goal. Great play by Ben Lake. He's the only one who kept his eye on the puck. Went about 50 feet in the air. It bounced on his stick, on his backhand. Brought it back on his forehand and slotted a pass by them. Race 8 3. Blythe and Priest one side of the net, I'll tell you that. Great play by Ben Lake there. Shot on goal, great chance there. Oh, what a save but by Dayton Jones. Jones had the bottle in the net covered. All they had to do was elevate the puck. And they couldn't do that, Dicko. No, I, and you know, uh, I, th I think, you know, Jonesy's. You know, he's done a good job tonight. You know, he, he's getting pucks. He's maybe he's, he's maybe had a few that have come off him tonight. And that's just chance you know, inside. Backdoor play. Oh, and it's finished it up again. Lovely play by Semyonov. Yeah, beautiful play. Yeah. yeah. But it all again started with Sanch on the far side. Sanch finds his man in the middle. I believe it might have been Bariga. But it's a lovely pass through the slot from Bariga. It is. I mean, just when we were talking there, here it comes up the side, slip. The weak side winger is open. And uh, from there, Jonesy is just chasing shadows. I think as that rub goes to him, yeah. and you know there's two passes. You know, there's, sorry, there's two options. There's there's the slot guy, and then there's the the weak side winger. So uh, I'm going to put it out there. You know, Adam Keefe's not going to be happy with us conceding four goals so far. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It, you know, um, against a team that you know you've kind of nearly put to bed. You know, you should really be looking after your own end here. Here comes Bariga. Bariga hit hard by Foley. Matt Foley, solid back there again. Tonight for the Belfast Giants. Dive with a shot, traffic in front. Takes a ricochet up and over. Back to tie. Again, Sanch winds up. Kicks out deflection wide of the target. Back to Sanch again. He sends that on target and again, a hit a body in front. Foley spins, sends it the length of the ice. I really like what I see from Matt Foley again, Dicko. Yeah, he's looking good, so he is. Great off the bench pressure from the Giants there. Although they just as I said, they turn it over. Oh, Goodman wins it back, in fairness. Goodman through the slot, backhand effort, 
Kieran Long, his third goal in three preseason games. And the Giants get a short-handed goal. Yeah, I, just whenever I was saying the Giants turn it over, Goodwin does the good work, gets it back, throws it into the slot. Kieran Long with a little, not much in it, backhand shot, I have to say. But I mean, sometimes those are the toughest ones. And, and that's the ninth goal for the Belfast Giants. Well, Colin keeps it at the blue line. Colin makes a move. Skits into the corner, spins back towards the blue. One goal, we're kept in front, that's cleared. Bariga, maybe one last chance for the Lindley Stars with a long shot from Sanch, and that sends it into the corner. But here comes Ethan McLean, making his debut for the Belfast chance. And they take a, a uh, young Palomino lad, suffers from the Sheehan muscular dystrophy, and has been on his wish list here to play for the Belfast Giants, not a million miles away from your hometown. No, not a million miles on, and a, a young man that we've, we've got to know over the last couple of years, and, and the Belfast Giants are really, really going out of their way to make him feel welcome here tonight, and he's going to get his, his debut. Well, here he comes, he's, he's particularly looking forward to chirping the refs, I believe. So, McLean comes right down the middle, Dundee stars. Oh. Conway doesn't mind. Conway, he's just got these three in the middle. McLean, he's in all alone. McLean has the opportunity. It's in the slot. Ethan McLean swings it through the legs and it's home. Ethan McLean makes it 10 for the Stanley Belfast Giants. An unassisted goal. Speechless, absolutely speechless. The uh, Blythe and Pierce. Well, uh, he's just got absolutely smoked by young McLean there. And the referee's dropped the puck quickly again. Oh, he's trying to get in behind. Oh, Richie steps out. Goodwin now. Goodwin on a two-on-one. McLean gets it. Again, just pushed it wide to the target. He's got a wing spin half an hour in front. Colin Scott Conway, the assist. Puts it out front. There's another chance here for a second. He takes a shot. Oh, it just misses the upright. McLean. One last chance, it's in the blue paint. Can he knock it home? And he does! It's his second of the night. Ethan McLean and the Belfast Giants fans and players and the Dundee Stars players. Oh, here comes a chirp. Please tell me we've got a microphone down there. <laughs> Everybody loves to chirp Andy Dalton. Yeah, and not just Ethan, the whole Belfast Giants organization. And uh Oh, it's so. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to put in the box. He's yeah, well. Come on, referee. That's ridiculous. Conway just says, no, it's not going to happen. And we're going to have one last chance for a hat trick. And he's got a penalty shot here now. McLean has a chance for a hat trick. Conway kicks it forward. And again, Ethan McLean steps inside, trails it forward. Tries to put it through the home legs of Priest. And Ethan McLean with a hat trick goal. That's going to be a night he's going to remember. And Jelly picks the puck up. That's going to be a souvenir for Ethan McLean tonight. His family look on from the side of the ice rink. Yeah, I think he, I think he might have figured out five holes to shot. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Oh, he's toying with him now. He's playing with him now. McLean again. Conway's going to be tired. He's played a lot of minutes tonight. He's hit their goaltender. It's it. Oh, the goaltender stops it on the line. McLean. Oh, my goodness, man. Can't remember the last time scored four goals in succession. I'll have to get Davey McGimsey on to that one. And the high fives coming in from the Dundee players showing their appreciation. What a night for Ethan McLean. There's still two minutes to go, Tico. Yeah, oh, I mean, Conway is pushing him over to the referee here. He's telling the chirp him. I don't think we're going to be able to get him into the penalty box with those wings at the minute. Oh, that's going to do us, and I think that might do us here this evening, Dicko. What a performance by Ethan McLean. Four goals in three minutes tonight. Yeah, it's fantastic, and... Uh... Just a little shout out to Dundee Stars as well. Thank you for staying on, making this possible as well. They'll not want to see Ethan in the lineup tomorrow, however. Oh, we're just hearing Ethan McLean. 
Should be up for a man of the match as the high fives coming through from the Dundee star players. Brian Priest had a tough game here this evening. And we'll want to forget those last four goals coming in in quick succession. He will. Not, not the ideal preparation for him, you know, destroying his confidence before tomorrow night, but... Scott Conway with another four helpers as well, you got to say. Fantastic to make a little boy's dream come true. 